What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Trevin, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so another side quest. Here we are at Pacific Love Town. We finally made it. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yes, we made it here before the legendary events of Rayquaza, Kyogre, and Groudon, and what else? The Pokemon League and all that stuff. So we're going to take a small tour. You know, this is a short episode of Pacific Love Town. We're going to talk to everybody, maybe make a trade if we do have that same Pokemon. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty much a small tour of Pacific Lock Town. I may be slacking just a little bit. I don't know. So let's go ahead and talk to this person right here. Pacific Lock Town floats on top of a colony of Corsola. If I told you that, would you believe me? Oh, well, yeah. There is a person here that's, uh, that what, trades a Corsola for us. What color is your trainer card? Mine's copper. Okay. Probably shouldn't have just talked to him. The ancestors of the po uh, the people in Pacific Log Town were said to have been born on the boats and lived and died aboard them. I understand that they lived uh, that way because they were searching for something. Hmm. What were they searching for? I don't intend to be going nowhere fast in the sticks like forever. You watch me, I'll get out of this city or get get out to the city and become a huge hit. Seriously, I'm going to cause a huge explosion of popularity. If you overheard that, I'll happily teach Explosion to one of your Pokemon, which, you know, is, you know, it's a good move and all that stuff, but I don't like using suicide moves and all that fun stuff. So here we go. We are in Pacific Log Town. As you can see, it looks like logs and stuff. There's really nothing. And it's like, see, isn't it neat? These houses are on water. I was born here. Wow. And this guy right here, he's like the Sky Pillar. Oh, you must mean the that tall, tall tower of a little further out. If you ask me, I wouldn't climb it. It's too scary to get up that high. Life at sea level in Pacific Log Town? That suits me fine. Okay. That's cool. That's awesome. Alright, so let's see what we got. Let's see. Uh, if you talk to this guy, he's like, in the Hoenn region, there are three Pokemon that represent the power of rock, ice, and steel. Each of them is said to hide away deep inside of caves. That... That's the story I heard when I was just a little kid, which is true. Talking about the Reggies. And if you talk to this girl, she's like, Six dots open three doors. Grandpa used to say that, but I don't know what that means. Which is true. Which is true. Okay, so I wonder where we could find these Reggies and stuff. Because I remember playing as a kid, I'd never gotten the Reggie sting. It would always take for me to go to, like, a book or, you know, sometimes the internet, which we didn't really have back in the day because, you know, my folks weren't, they didn't make that much money, you know. They had to earn everything and all that stuff. It took me a long time to figure that out, you guys. And here we go. People were saying that they saw a Pokemon flying high above Hoenn. Is it flying around all the time? Doesn't it need to rest somewhere? Which Pokemon are we talking about here? Where did you come from? And this one right here makes no sense whatsoever because it's like, where did you come from? And it says yes or no. No. That doesn't mean make any sense. You have to come from somewhere. Oh, wait! You're not going to say you were born on the bottom of the sea. Makes no sense. Now, if you answer yes, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Yes. Yes, Tim? I've never heard of that place like that. Okay. Talk to her. A Sky Pokemon. A Sky Pokemon. So we're talking about the Pokemon that, you know, we're eventually going to see now. Let's see what we have. In search of trainers. Oh, yes. This is talking about me, you know, being the badass that I am. Beating everybody. That's right. There we go. And, uh, you know, I'm just pressing the button because I really don't want to read this. This is just, you know, fulfilling all that stuff. And lost confidence in my encounter. Yada, yada, yada. Snivel, whatever. Draven beat the crap out of us. That is right. And uh, work. That is right. Work, work, work. And that is it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that one. And uh, going to be moving on forward right here. Let's see. Let me go right here. No, right here. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to this guy right here. <clears throat> I am the Pokemon fan club's most important person, the chairman's younger brother. I'm here enjoying my vacation with my Pokemon, or with Pokemon, yes indeed, ah, your Pokemon. It clearly likes you very much, a Pokemon that adore, or that adoring and adorable deserves a team like this, no? We got ourselves a TM27, I think that's for, no way, hold on, it's return, oh, okay, so this is frustration, the power goes up, so let me, let me take a look at this, let me take a look at this, 27, I think we already got, hold on, yes, huh, Looks like we got another return attack. I didn't even know that we... Oh, wow. That was, uh, new. 
That's new. And yes, we got Azurals. Doesn't appear to like Pokemon very much. So you have two examples of what kind of Pokemon that you know, what Pokemon you have. Now, let me see. What would happen if I had a Pokemon that didn't like me much? So let's go with uh, Hydra right here. Could be wrong. Let's see. Ah, yes, but in about seven day or seven or so days, I should be getting new. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. This guy, uh, it changes up every single time. If your Pokemon doesn't like you much, he, he will give you frustration, the frustration attack. Now, talk to this girl right here, and she's like, The sea between Pacific Log and Slayport has a fast-running tide. If you decide to go to Surf, you could end up swept away somewhere else, which we will eventually go in the next episode, I would like to say. And if you talk to this girl, is that a Pokedex? Did you get to meet a lot of different Pokemon? I wish I was like you. Okay. And talk to this guy, check out my horse, or check out this horsey. It's the horsey that I caught yesterday to celebrate my birthday. Oh, I can see that you want it. After all, it's priceless. I'll tell you what, I might be willing to trade for it, uh, trade it, uh, trade it for a Bagon. Now, that's too high. That's, that's, yeah, that right there is not a fair trade because Bagon's a little more rare than a horsey. I could have sworn somebody could, somebody traded a, uh, Corsola around here somewhere. Now, talk to this guy. He's like, Mirage Island. It must become visible and invisible depending on the weather conditions that make the Mirage appear. Or is it really dis appearing or disappearing? Hmm. I don't even know. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, I can't see Mirage Island today. This guy will eventually, you know, tell you if you find Mirage Island or not. Honestly, guys, I've never, ever, ever found Mirage Island. Never. So, that is pretty much it right there for this episode, guys. So, stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be going uh, west on the fast current. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.